Good afternoon everybody. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can go from this to this purely by accessing the metadata that exists within your video recordings and also the extra information that's recorded by DJI. So sit tight and I'll show you how I built this up. Okay, so how did I do it? Well, it's not a big secret really. You just have to know that uh, your video recordings that you make with your DJI drone, and, and to my knowledge, all of the drones, certainly the ones made in the last couple of years, will support this. You have to go into your drone and whatever your menuing system says, you need to find video captions and enable that. What that does is, it's not video captions as in talking and speech. What it is, is it's a way to encode metadata into your video recording. Here, I'll show you a quick example. So if I open up this recording here and I press play, I have subtitles turned on in VLC player. VLC player. And as you can see, there's metadata that's actually embedded into the file. So this very basic data is what it uses to do the telemetry information. So let me stop that. I'll go back to my browser screen. So if you've turned that on, any recordings you make after that point will have this data in, okay? So how do I actually get access to that data? Um, the program that I use is a program called Telemetry Overlay. Um, I'll put a link into the description below. Um, it is an affiliate link um, only because I bought the product and I said I was going to make a video about it and um, it would be very helpful for me if you guys would uh, use this link if you choose to purchase this. It's just very helpful. So what is it? It's a piece of software that basically reads that data that's in those files and it's usable for all sorts of different things. You know, you can use it for um, all sorts of different types of tool. So, you know, when you look here, here's, here's some examples, you know, so it's supporting, you know, if you're cycling, you don't just use it for drones. If you buy this product, you can use it for pretty much everything. If you do motorsports, aviation, drones, all sorts, as you can see here. Uh, and they all work the same way. Or it uses an action camera's metadata information, of which obviously the drone is, and uses that to populate this information, okay? So how does that actually look? Well, if I come down here and I start the application up, so if you download it and you install it, the very first screen you get is this screen right here. So I can load a video file. So I'm gonna load a file from my DJI Neo and I will go to, uh, let me find it here. Hold on one second. I will go to here and I'll go to here and I'll go to here and I'll load this piece of video right here. Okay, so it's going to load that data up and it's looking at the file and you don't have to do this optimizing. I, I don't see a downside in not doing this. I'm not quite sure what it does. I usually skip this and then it comes and it says, ah, there's no telemetry data. Well, that's because this is the DJI Neo. The DJI Neo records its telemetry data in a separate file. In the Avata, it's actually embedded in the file. If you've got captions turned on on your Avata and you do this, then it will automatically load the data. But those SRT files that you Neo owners will see sitting in the same directory as you have your, your image files, that's exactly what this is. Okay, so now let me load a telemetry file for this. And uh, I shall now go back to um, here and I will go to here and I will go to here and here and here and I'll look at all files. Oh, sorry, I chose the wrong directory. I should have chosen this one right here. So if I go into my, um, you can see these files these SRT files. 
these are the files that you want to upload. So if I click on that and I open that, that's loading the telemetry file. So this is the data from my flight. And what you can see is that this is the, um, let me just load the default pattern for drones. So this is what you get out of the box with drones, okay? So you can see you've got your, it's the distance from you, distance to home, You've got a map here which shows the route that you're flying. You've got your heading information. You've got speed information, a bit of information about the camera, your altitude. So this is the basic information that you get. And if I press play on this, what you'll see, if I move it on a bit, is as soon as I start flying, let's move it on a little bit more, you can see that the display is updated. So it's showing the path that it's flying, etc., etc., etc. So this is out of the box with the base data that you get from the DJI Neo. You'll notice there's certain information that's not here that was on my video, like the stick positions, etc., etc. So um, I'll explain why that is in a little bit. But anyway, you can get the general gist of it. Uh, and what you can do is you can take one of these gauges and you can edit it in all sorts of ways. So I can say that if I want the center thing to be a different color, say I want it to be blue, I can change it to blue, right? If I want the style to be different, then you can press a shape here, right? I can make it, I can move all sorts of things around. It's very, very customizable. So once you've got the data, you can make it look pretty much however you want. So if I go to here, um, I can make this a bit bigger, smaller, okay? And once I've got a display that I actually like, then what I can do is I can go to here and I can save that as a pattern. I've got two here, Top Gun and a HUD pattern, right? So these are two patterns that I generated. That's actually the one that I used. And I'll share a link so you can download that one if you really want. Um, so these are the very basic ones. But what I can do is I can take that, I can load it up, and the information that's in the file that it has, it will display. So as you can see, it's only using the information that is in that captioned data. There is another source for data, and I'll get to that in a second. But that's basically how you can just change the patterns. And if I was cycling, for example, I could try and do it, and I'd get a display that looks like this. These are great starting points, and as I say, then you can go in and you can edit these things and you can save them, right? Um, so you've got all these wonderful tools here and then when you're done, you can export. Now, if when you export, there's a couple of important things to say. So you can send it as a finished video. You can write a transparent video. What I do is um, I, export as a transparent video. And what that basically does is, if you imagine that the image is not here and you just get the dials, okay? In post-processing, what I do is I, I overlay the dials on top of the file that I downloaded from the Avata, okay? Um, that's just the way that I do it. But what you can do is you can actually just delete, you can just um, export the finished video, which will be the image data and it will be the, um, the uh, data here. I do that, I export it separately because I just enjoy the ability to change the um, the transparency, etc., etc., of the instruments that overlay the video. Um, but if you just want to do it quickly, then you can just export the video. And hit export and it will export it, right? So on to um, the next part of this. So when we look at um, the telemetry data, there is other telemetry data that you can get, right? That's not in the image files, right? Even the Avata doesn't hold all the image data. And the easiest way that I found to do this is I signed up to this service here, which is Air Data UAV, right? If you use this service, it has so many other good benefits as well. For example, I've got maintenance on all my batteries. It knows about my batteries. It knows um, how many flights I've done, how much time I've done on each. And for every flight that you do, it gives you a full breakdown of that particular flight. 
So on this one here, this is uh, me flying my Avata 2. This is actually, I believe, the flight that I took that piece of video from. And you can play through this. Um, it tells you all sorts of good information about the flight that you took. And you can then export as a CSV file, right? So I can take all that data that's in here. If I look at the detail of that, then I can look at the equipment that I used, any notifications that I received, and anything that happened on the flight, and I can look at the large map. Okay, so if I go back to the overview again, I can download this as a CSV file. I'll click that, it will download, there you go, and I can open this up. And you will see that it's just a regular spreadsheet and it has all sorts of crazy information in there. If you look at these here, you'll see all this crazy, crazy information. You've got uh, ground elevation, altitude above sea level, blah, 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 blah. And so it goes on all the way across to um, row AZ. And you get these messages, right? Set and return to home. So these are important events that happened. Home point updated, home point updated right? These are all important messages that come through. And if you ever lose your drone or you have a flyaway, this is the information that you're going to want to send to, um, to DJI to be able to track down what actually happened to your drone. But that's a, a completely different story. So you've saved this spreadsheet, okay? And what I do now is I can go back to here and I can upload that file, right? I can upload that file. So let me start again. I'm going to change my video and replace my video. And I'm going to use that video that um, we used for the uh, video today. So if I do the raw data, okay, so there were, it partitioned that one fly into three videos. I'll select those three and I'll open those, clear and proceed. So it's going to load that information up. Again, I'll skip the optimization. Then it processes the telemetry and it says, okay, reapply, sure, go ahead and do that. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna put this basic set of gauges on here, right? Now, I haven't loaded the telemetry file that I just downloaded. This is just using the basic stuff that comes in the Avata file. So if I want to, um, load that data, I go into here and I could say, well, add a telemetry file. So I'll go to that file that I just downloaded, which should be in my downloads. Here it is right here. Open this. Yes. And now you'll see it's much richer. So it's being able to pull out all that extra information. Look at the information you get on the batteries, for example, right? <clears throat> look at and, and you get these wonderful things here where you can actually have the height you can have the stick positions up here you've got your gps still okay and i can go to my patterns now and i can say load my top gun one on top of that data and here it all is and the little stick positions are down here this is what i generated to make that video and then i export it as a transparent I can overlay it on top of my video with a clever piece of F16 HUD display, uh, and that's how I do it, okay? Um, when you hit the export, it exports, and then you can go to DaVinci Resolve, you can pull in your image, do your color grading, and you can overlay with this as well. And that's another reason why I do the transparent video, because um, I can't really color grade it here as I would like to in DaVinci Resolve. So I export this as a transparent, I upload the footage into DaVinci Resolve, I do my color grade, and then I overlay this on top. So that's how I basically do it. Um, what does it cost? Well, I don't think it's actually that bad. I think it's a great price really, because if I go to here uh, and I say download, it comes down here and the price is 175, but that's a pay once. It's not one of these um, crazy, crazy pieces of software you pay month by month by month right? You pay for this and you pay for it once. There is, you don't have to do the air data either. There is another way of doing it. I don't know the details behind that. There is another way of doing this. 
Um, but I use this because I don't just use it for this, right? I use it to keep track of my equipment. I use it to, it gives me a maintenance schedule. So if I go to my home, um, if there's any maintenance to do, it shows up here. It will tell me that I need to do some maintenance on my battery. So decharge them, recharge them. I get weather information on here and I get a full list of every single flight that I've done. So it's a virtual logbook. I think it's actually worth the, uh, the money. It's, if I go here and you can see the pricing model for this is I use this one here. I use the gold one, which is six ninety nine a month, only because I basically want it to do my battery management and stuff. But you know, it's it's very very cheap per month. So this is a per month charge. Uh, and if you're flying drones and you have more than one, then it's a really good way to keep track of your stock, your inventory. Okay, so that's basically how I do it. Uh, again, I would very much appreciate if you do decide to look at telemetry, then I would very much appreciate you clicking on the affiliate link, which is shown down below. That's it. Hope you found that useful. And I'm hoping to see some very nice, really cool looking videos that you guys can do. The explosion was nothing to do with telemetry overlay. That was just DaVinci Resolve. So again, I'll just show you the final video on the end. And that's it from me. So have a wonderful day and stop crashing. Bye-bye.